Okay, here we go. On to the final question of this problem series from the University of Mumbai. Question 6B, which is for as many as 7 marks. This is going to be very interesting and it is based on the chapter projection of solids. And the solid we are going to deal with happens to be a hexagonal prisma. This is a hexagonal top. That's a hexagonal base. And these are the edges which connect the base to the top. And uh, you can also say that it is surrounded by rectangular faces. How many? 6 in number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It would be better if I can switch to the slide mode and let's read the problem's description. And uh, here we go. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, let's let's read it first of all, and then let's let's try to work out the details. Um, here it is. So there is a hexagonal prism, side of base thirty five, axis sixty five, resting on one of the base edges. Very important point: resting on one of the base edges. On HP such that the base of the prism is inclined at. Look here, the base inclination has been given. In most of the problems, in ninety nine percent of the problems, you will see. At the axis inclination is given either with respect to HP or VP. Here, this is slightly different. Base of the prisma, okay. Uh, base inclination has been given as 45 degrees to the HP. Axis being parallel to VP, draw the projections of the prisma. Let me tell you from the outset, this is a very easy problem. You can crack this in the next 10 minutes and I'll try to deliver in 10 minutes only. Here we go. Uh, let me write down all the details which have been given in the problem and here they are. What are we talking about, sir? We are talking about a hexagonal prism. Here it is. Okay. Secondly, uh, this prism has its base edge on the HP. This is the condition. Please make sure it reflects in your orthographic projection. Secondly, the base of the prism is at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the horizontal plane. Okay. And the axis being parallel to the vertical plane. Fair enough. If the base is inclined, at an angle of 45 degrees then automatically you can say or make this conclusion draw this conclusion that the axis also is at an angle of 45 degrees now this is something that i have taught you in my earlier classes that let's say if axis inclination is theta axis inclination is theta then the base is inclination is going to be 90 minus theta and here it's the other way around you have been given the base inclination so therefore the axis inclination is going to be 90 minus theta vice versa okay so don't worry we are going to in fact incline the base only and not the axis right i think with that being said let me take you to my cell phone mode and let me now show you the object and uh, let's let's make this writing pad in the form of a vertical plane okay so uh, this is our object we'll keep it in the standing position for step number one the condition which has been given in the problem is that the base edge, this basically is the base top, center, this is the top, center at the top, center at the bottom. When you connect these two points, that line is an axis whose length is 65. All of these base edges are 35 millimeters long. Okay, so this was about the dimension of the object. Um, <coughs> in the question, it has been clearly mentioned that one base edge is on HP. So take a look, this base edge over here, this base edge is on the HP, isn't it? If I change the question and if I write that one corner is in the, is in the HP, then it would have been in this fashion. This corner is in HP. Now, since we have been given the base edge is on HP, this is your condition. And this base makes a certain angle with the horizontal plane, this base, which looks like a line from over here. This base looks like a line in the front view. So you have to keep this line at an angle of 45 degree, which essentially means the base will automatically be inclined at 45 degrees. Okay, that's the idea. This is your step number two, step number one, step number two, step number one, no inclination of the base. Okay, it is resting with its base on the HP. In step number two, we are going to incline the base and then we are going to create the top view also. For step number one, please. Uh, what are you going to draw first top view or the front view sir we are going to create the top view first because the true shape of the base okay the true shape of the base or the top can only be seen from the top view 
therefore we are going to begin by creating the top view first and simultaneously after that we will be creating the front view that step number one is over and this is going to be your step number two what is step number two sir this base will be inclined at an angle of 45 degrees this is step number two very easy and in this position we will be creating let me bring it closer we will be creating its top view this is what you see from the top this uh, sort of uh, uh, compressed sort of uh, laterally compressed hexagon is what you'll see and these three rectangular faces uh, it's it's one two three rectangular faces will be seen and also uh, i wish i had more hands i could have explained and demonstrated you in a much better fashion uh, but don't worry we can work it out the remaining stuff in the drawing itself okay here we go question number let me switch to the presentation mode okay here we go that is my writing part okay what are you going to do sir we are going to draw a hexagon i'm sure all of you guys know how to make a hexagon like this the internal angles are what are they 120 degrees each okay so uh there are six corners at the base which we are going to represent by alphabets and the six corners at the top will be represented by numbers so these are the corners for the base these are the corners for the top right let me take a look at this from the front let me have the projector lines this is at the bottom at the bottom we are going to have six corners in the form of alphabets like a behind a there is f b behind b there is e Similarly, C and then behind C, there is D. In this fashion, you need to write it like this. And by the way, this hexagon, all the sides are equal. This is 35 millimeters. Secondly, the height of the prisma is 65. Okay, height is equal to the length of the axis. That's 65. Right? I'm going to be doing the dimensions. Don't worry. The top six corners. Now, one behind one, there is six. Behind two, there is five. Behind three, there is four. Let me write all of them. Tons of. In the second step, what we'll do is we are going to copy and paste but some with some rotation so you have to recreate this front view from step one into step number two but with some rotation you know what that rotation is this edge will stay in contact as mentioned in the problem one edge is in contact with the hp but at the same time the base is going to make an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal plane so what we'll do is we'll make a point okay and this is the base this has got six corners please note you have to recreate this edge over here at an angle of this angle is by the way 45 degrees and okay sir we can do this this how can you mark where exactly b dash e dash is again with the help of a compass with this much as the radius with a center you can make this arc over here and this intersection point will give you b dash e dash i'm sure uh, that you can work out c dash d dash on your own okay there is not going to be any spoon feeding anymore so when you have got these points then what you need to do is keep your one scale of your drafter over here okay this way this way tighten the screw bring it over to a dash f dash draw a line bring it over to b dash e dash draw a line in the same fashion draw a line from c dash and d dash done finish it off now watch it from the top draw the projected lines in the downward direction and the projector lines towards the right what do we need now so we need the intersection points like this vertical line has got point one and six exact location of six is here that's six for you and the exact location of one is here in the same fashion the remaining points i'm sure you guys can work it out on your own what is left as i told you this hexagon is clearly visible to you from the top directly okay so make it secondly edge three to c this edge over here will is visible yes sir edge 4 to d is visible edge 3 to c is visible 2 to b is also visible b to c is visible sir d c is visible d e is visible okay since they are visible let me make them using solid thick lines this way and whatever is left should be drawn given respect with the help of dashed lines as they are hidden this way okay and if you want to see the construction uh, work how light it is here it is along with the dimension done 
so this is the level of accuracy this is uh, how your drawing should look finally i'm sure you guys can crack this very easily it's, it's a relatively easier problem so question number 6 a and 6b both of them were easier problems i hope that whenever you see or whenever you come across easier questions in your question paper solve them crack them okay don't let them go don't go for tougher problems if you have the choice for an easier problem go for it hmm? okay so that was all from my side as far as mumbai university's 2022 december question paper is concerned uh, i think i have put in my best efforts to craft the best videos for all of you and this video is available in my application and also on my youtube channel the one shot video is something that i'll be preparing next uh, don't worry and uh, <clears throat> as far as the entire pdf solution is concerned it will be made available on my application you can open my application by the way first of all you need to download it the link for that is in the description down below go here download install the application and uh, inside the engineering graphics course there is a special university wise folder go inside it you will find mu folder mumbai university folder and inside that you are going to have your access i kept this pdf unlocked for all of my students from my youtube family so go ahead and take a look at all these solutions okay so, so this is going to really help you as far as examinations are concerned and please let me know what is the exact date of your paper mu paper mumbai university paper and uh, so that we can also plan some other things maybe a mock paper maybe some strategizing which chapters are important right this is all on you guys you have to let me know about these things so yes that was all from my side this is manas patak signing off take care have a nice day thank you